Marcy and Connie. We're here at 1033 Main Salon and Spa in lovely Mumford, New York. And today I'm going to show you a very quick, very easy updo that can be done on mid-length hair. If you have enough length on the front to be able to bring it back, you, you might even be able to do it on hair that's a little shorter than what Connie has um, because we're going to bring all the hair back. Uh, and I did prep Connie's hair by going through it with a large barrel curling iron, about a one inch curling iron, and putting a little bend in the hair, which just makes it a little more flexible and pliable to work with. So what I'm going to do is just, you can part the hair any way you normally would part it on the front, so it's, uh, the interest on this is in the back. And I'm going to start, let me just set my comb down. I'm going to start here behind the air. I'm going to gather that hair together and start giving it twist. Now I want to keep a tight twist on this and hold it down against the head. And as I move through, I'm going to pick up hair, kind of like you do when you're doing a French braid, and gather that in and twist that in and work across the back. Keep it down at the hairline. Pick up a little more hair and twist that in. There we go. Again, you want to keep it up against the head. And moving to about halfway. Now let me just get this last little bit added in. Twist that up. I'm going to brush this hair out of the way. I'm going to take a very large foundation bobby pin. And I want to secure my section with that, so I'm going to kind of direct it this way. When I feel it hit her head, I'm going to turn it and jackknife it this way and run it through that roll. Now, it's okay if it shows a little bit like that, it's fine, because we're going to lay another piece of hair over the top, so that's fine. I just want to secure it a little bit better so I'm just going to tuck a couple of more regular size bobby pins in. I sometimes go a little overboard on the bobby pins but I think I'd rather have too many bobby pins than not enough have somebody's hair come down in the middle of the evening. So this is what we have. If you have longer hair you'll have a little bit more of a tail here. That's fine. I'm just going to grab my comb Smooth this out a little bit for there. Then I'm coming over to the right side and I'm going to grab a section of hair to the back of the ear. Let me smooth that out a little. And same thing, twist up and as I'm coming along, I'm going to gather hair into that twist. And when I get back here where that tail is that I left off, I'm going to grab all of that up into this piece and twist it all the way across and lay it right on top of the twist we already put in. And then all I need to do is tuck those ends under. I want to secure it a little bit before I get into that. So I'm just going to grab a pin once it touches the scalp, I can turn it, and that actually makes it a little more secure. So I've got one going to the right, I'm going to put a second one in, going this way, just to interlock and secure that. And then all I have to do is tuck these ends in, and again, catch that with a pin. So I'm going to take this section go through the hair I just tucked in, so if you can see, it's going through all the way to the scalp and then turn it and tuck it in and that'll secure that. Alright, then you have a nice little roll and if you want to, I don't have a tail comb right here, so I'm just going to use, I happen to have a chopstick here, don't or a cuticle stick, so um, you can grab a tail comb or your like I'm using this stick and just move in there and loosen it up a little if you want to soften it up a little bit. There you go. And she's got a couple of pieces here that are uh, 
leaving a little security, so I'm just going to tuck a pin in there. And again, touch the scalp and turn the pin. And that will lock, lock it right in. I'm going to grab a little bit of hairspray that was not fully prepared. Because <laughs> I sometimes am not. Alright, the trick with hairspray is to hold it so the spray moves in the direction that the hair is moving. So this hair moves back from the face. I'm going to spray in that direction. And that lets me smooth that all down. These little wispies, you can leave them down. If you want to smooth them into your design, they move up. So spray from underneath. And you're just kind of going with the grain of your hair design. A little hairspray there. This hair moves back, so we're going to do that. Smooth that in. A little tip on how to use your hairspray. There you have it. The full 360. And that is a very quick and easy way for you to look great, feel great, and have a great day. Thanks for watching.